In today's demo, I'm going to show you how Adaptive works for Office 365 from the user perspective. You'll see I'm on the office365.com website, and if you look in the upper right hand corner, I'm already recognized because I've logged in earlier. What we're going to do is go into an incognito window so I'm completely hidden and show what the authentication process looks like. When I click in sign in, it asks for my email address, which I'm going to put in, and you'll notice since it has the at at adaptive.com, what's going to happen, I'm going to get redirected because Microsoft is going to recognize based on my domain name that there's an IDP or an identity provider in place for authentication, which is adaptive. I happen to be an adaptive employee, so it's sending me to adaptive. But if a customer were using this, they would go to the same looking user portal. Now I'm going to click next. It's going to ask me for my password. And what you're going to notice down below, you'll see authentication method. What that is, that is multi-factor authentication. I'm going to choose to receive a text message. I click next and you'll see what appears on my phone is a text. I could put in this long code here, but I'm going to do it the easy way by clicking on the link. It asks me if I'd like to approve or deny this login. I want to approve it because I know it's me. And now you'll see I am logged into the Office 365 environment. Next, I'd like to show you what login looks like if I were to go right into the adaptive user portal. So here it's asking for my username. It's going to ask me for my password. Authentication method. Once again, I'm going to choose text message. We'll see the text message come down, click on that, click on the link, hit approve, and now we're in. Now this will actually end up looking a little bit different than our last view. The reason being we are now in the adaptive user portal and you'll see different tiles that are in here for products I can do single sign on into. Now I know this is a discussion about Office 365 and I have my Office 365 tile here, but you can see I can have other applications such as Ring Central or some of the apps that I've put in there myself. To show you this working in action, you'll see I can click on Office 365 and it starts to authenticate me in. We can then use our locally installed Office products and those will also be authenticated in. So if I were to go to Word, you'll see I click on that. It's logging in and now it's brought me into Word.